fundamental goal of the board diversity action alliance that was mentioned in the piece um, and we're making progress corporate america is making progress but we have to make sure that this is not you know famous thing that i say from hamilton it's not a mo moment we have to make sure that this is a movement that it keeps going that we continue to hold seats grow seats that we grow latin x directors because they're kind of falling over behind that we et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, that we diversify uh, the boardroom and diversify the C-suite. One of the things that we looked at, I mean, go a little bit off line is because this, all this data is for publicly traded companies. But if you look at um, PE firms and VC firms and look at their portfolio companies, boards of those companies, or the C-suites of those companies, I think that you will find that there is significantly less progress there. I'm um, actually, you'll find that there's no progress there. And so we have, to, we have to continue to look, continue to push. We have educational institutions, healthcare institutions, we have the government, et cetera, where diversity can't just stop in corporate, in corporate suites. It has to kind of expand across, across America and hopefully across the world. What about black women in particular, Ursula? I, I, I don't think, uh, you know, your book was a real wake-up call, just how rare your path is for black women in America. What about the progress there, and, and why do you think that in particular has been so challenging? Um, so, you know, your facts are right. I mean, it has been um, you know, a poultry sum, poultry number. Uh, the, even the pipeline is poultry today. So it's a, there's a lot of work that has to be done for African-American women or for black women anywhere in the world. Um, so we have to get to it, that's, that's number one. The reason why the pipeline is so small is that we're a subset of the subset. <laughs> we're always a subset of the subset. So everybody focuses on women, they focus on white women. They focus on men, they focus on black men. We fit neither of those categories. Our needs, our circumstances are different from both. There's some commonality, but they're different from both. And most people just haven't gotten around to us yet. That's a, literally, they don't even think about us. They get the women thing, check, done. They get the black male thing, check, done. And someone raises their hand and says, you know, we have no female of X that looks like X. They go, oh my God, that's right, you're so right. So I think part of it is we fall between the cracks kind of literally in these two massive groups. The second reason is that the pipeline for us is, for the other areas it's not, as stark as it is for black women, the pipeline for us is um, thin. 